Championship Wrestling, sanctioned by the National Wrestling Alliance. The real deal hammering away on Ilya Markopoulos. Oh my goodness, Markopoulos with a low blow, kicking that middle rope. Cutting off the momentum of the real deal. Cover right here, and only two. Lock sent face first into the buckle. Boot right to the throat of the real deal by Elia Markopoulos. Referee Rob Tuttle calling for the break. Markopoulos breaking the ice across that top rope. This match pretty much a two against one affair. Mr. Fabulous, Tony Ulysses on the outside and Ilya Markopoulos going to work on the former NECW heavyweight champion. Off the ropes now. Driven down to the canvas by the statement. Cover again, only two. Mr. Fabulous taunting the former NECW heavyweight champion and now it's Mr. Fabulous on the apron, referee Rob Tuttle telling him to get down off of there. Markopoulos with a reverse chin lock. Lock trying to get back up to his feet, turning into it. Elbow to the midsection. Markopoulos tries to clamp down. Cuts off the real deal with a knee to the midsection. Standing drop kick sends Locke to the canvas. The statement goes for a cover and only gets two. Brandon Locke in the best condition I've ever seen him in. But not having an easy time with the statement Ilya Markopoulos. And there goes Locke. Shot to the midsection, and another. Big shot to the jaw, staggers the statement, and a big chop, and another. Irish whip reverse, block off the ropes. Catches Markopoulos with a boot. Markopoulos driven back with a forearm. And now the real deal. Setting up for the lockdown. The statement driven down with a lockdown, and this could do it right here. Ah, uh, Mr. Fabulous grabbed the arm of Rob Tuttle. Mr. Fabulous breaking up the pin attempt. Lock had Markopoulos in the lockdown, and now Markopoulos rolls him up two and a half. Classic distraction by Mr. Fabulous. Doesn't get the job done, and wait a minute now. Once again, Ulysses on the apron. Holding lock, lock ducks. Kick to the jaw of Mr. Fabulous by the statement. And lock lays in wait. The statement goes up. Statement driven down. Another lockdown, and this is going to do it. The real deal, Brandon Locke victorious, and let's go to Chris Norman for the official word. A hard-fought victory for the former NECW heavyweight champion. The real deal, Brandon, oh, wait a minute, who is this? Locke attack from behind. standing over the prone body of the former NECW heavyweight champion, the real deal, Brandon Locke. We have no idea what brought this on. Powerbomb sends Locke to the canvas. Fury, a former NECW heavyweight champion. We haven't seen him since he was stripped of the NECW Tag Team Championship. 
Fury with a seemingly unprovoked attack on the real deal, Brandon Locke. I have no idea what's behind this. Fury coming in through the back door, attacking Brandon Locke. And Fury getting ready to exit the same way he came in. All right, fans, later that night, the real deal, Brandon Locke came out to address the situation with Brian Fury. And wait a minute, Fury again attacking Locke from behind. Fury peppering Locke with fists and forearms, kicking Locke in the chest. Oh, Locke now on the comeback trail. Lock firing away, but Fury cuts him off again. Fury to the outside. Locke makes the challenge. on the show, the real deal, Brandon Locke. your ass. Saturday night, July 14th, red, white, and bruised. Straight edge Brian Fury challenged by the real deal, Brandon Locke. And Fury nodding in acceptance. That match, one half of a double main event set for NECW's Red, White, and Cruise. We'll have more on that a little bit later in this update. And folks, next week on the NECW Online Update, the return of Tony Delfonso. More words from the real deal, Brandon Locke and much more. There he is, the former NECW Heavyweight Champion. The real deal, Brandon Locke. There's much more NECW Online Update to come straight ahead after we tell you about this. New England Championship Wrestling returns live for Red, White, and Bruised Saturday night, July 14th at the Knights of Columbus. 582 Bedford Street, Bridgewater, Mass., with a 7 p.m. bell time. Featuring a double main event, Chase Del Monte squares off with the undefeated Matt Taven to determine the number one contender for the NECW Heavyweight Championship. In a battle of former NECW Heavyweight Champions, the real deal, Brandon Locke, goes one-on-one -on -one with Brian Fury. In a World Women's Wrestling feature match, Adriana battles Mercedes. In a special challenge match, the veteran Johnny Thunder takes on Sean Burke. Also signed to appear, the debut of Dalton Castle, Julian Starr, and the Logan Brothers. Tickets on sale now, online at NECWWrestling.com, or call toll-free 1-800-838-3006. That's 1-800-838-3006. Don't miss New England Championship Wrestling, red, white, and bruised, Saturday night, July 14th, at the Knights of Columbus in Bridgewater. You know, in 2012, I have a lot of plans for the jewels, my crown jewels. In 2012, you're going to be my main, main jewel. So tell the people out there exactly what Mr. Fabulous and his jewels are going to do in 2012. Well, Mr. Fabulous, you say your jewels? Yes. Well, there's only one jewel here. You see, we're missing the biggest part of the jewels, and that is the newest member, the hot one, the lean, the mean, the playboy, playboy yes. Jimmy James. Yes, and he's a playboy at heart. So what are we going to be doing? Well, one, 
we're taking the garbage out. You see, that 53-year-old Jason Rumble, we're trashing him like he's yesterday's news. That's what I'm talking about. And after that, me and the Playboy, we're gonna get his belt size fitted, we're gonna get the extra straps, me and him, we're winning the tag team championships. But, no, 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 no. Ilya, Ilya's not stopping there. After the tag team championship, the 18-year-old phenom, Ilya Markopoulos. Do tell. He's gonna capture the N E C W Heavyweight Championship. So in other words, only fools mess with my jewels and Mr. Fabulous. This is a National Wrestling Alliance special report. On the last edition of the NECW Online Update, we saw how Colt Cabana defeated Scrap Iron Adam Pierce in a Boston street fight to go up 2-0 in the best of seven series for the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. Cabana with a shot to the midsection. Pierce cuts him off with a boot. Pierce head first into the steel chair. Cabana now. Rolls him over. Billy, this could be the Billy Goat's curse. Yes, it is. The reverse Boston Crab. Pierce down. In the center of the ring, Pierce cannot get to the ropes. Referee Barbara Mahoney checking. Pierce, and that's it. He's out. Colt Cabana retains the NWA World's Heavyweight Championship. for the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Colt Bull Boom Cabana. The next chapter in the Seven Levels of Hate will be written on Saturday, July 7th in Hopkins, Minnesota as Steel Domain Wrestling hosts Stage 3, which will be an I Quit match. From there, it's on to Metro Pro Wrestling in Kansas City, Kansas on Saturday, July 21st for Stage 4, which will be a best two out of three falls match. Should the series go beyond four matches, New England Championship Wrestling has bid on hosting one more match in the series. Keep watching the NECW Online Update for more news on this epic series of World Championship bouts. This is Al Basler, and I'm standing here with the manager of champion Sean Gorman, along with Chase Del Monte and Brian Logan. Now, Brian, you guys scored a big victory over All Money is Legal as part of a six-man tag team match. Do you think you can carry this momentum on to when you get another shot at the titles? Okay, just one second. Hold on. I will do the talking for these guys right now. They have better things to do than to talk to you or talk to these losers at home right now. All Money is Legal, let me just say this. You are great competitors, but not in our class. And I just want to mention they are also the NECW Tag Team Champions, and they suffered a defeat tonight. So you know what that means? That means that these two guys, in my opinion, could beat them for the titles and will beat them for the titles. Okay, Sean Gorman. Well, if you're going to speak for these guys, does that mean we can officially call you the manager of the Mill City Hooligans? Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I am not at this time the official manager of these two men. What I am at this juncture is nothing more than a business partner because I recognize talent when I see it, all right? That's how it's gonna be. And let me just say this to all the fans of New England Championship Wrestling, get ready, it's a whole new era and NECW, oh yeah.